Halloween frights are upon us. One woman has transformed her entire yard into a haunted fairy tale. Perfect for your favorite. I'm so year. excited to see this. Yeah, 13 Your Sides, Elena Holland shows us the epic display and introduces us to the woman behind all the scares. Once upon a time, the village of Storybook Hollow lived in peace. But each Halloween, the villains from this fairy tale town rise from the grave and seek revenge. The troll in Rumpelstiltskin and the wicked stepmother, they're all sort of rising. Captain Hook and the Queen of Hearts. I try to get their, their stories overturned. <laughs> villains of the stories come to life at this haunted display every year. A lot of the fairy tales origins are really quite dark. And so I thought it's kind of fun to tap into that a little bit. Jennifer oh, Dunahee. I've always loved Halloween. Created Storybook Hollow, not far from home. It's just a boring, you know, four bedroom ranch, beige. It, it couldn't be a more boring house. Each Halloween, it becomes something magical. This dragon livery is her garage. It's supposed to be like a ruined castle that somebody's turned into a dragon farm. The Mad Hatter's tea party, the front of her house. When you're in here, you don't see the modern houses and things like that. Dunahee did not take any shortcuts creating this fictional town. I basically work like 20 hours a week, year round, full time building things. With the exception of just a few items, she has handmade nearly everything you see in the village. A lot of things are carved out of foam. My husband helps me with the, the framing of things. He bends the steel for me and um, does the carpentry work and then I put all together. Including the now famous dragon guarding the castle moat. Our newest dragon is Serpentina, who was in Art Prize this year. Putting her in the top five of this year's competition. It was a whirlwind. The past four years, Dunahee has partnered with the Humane Society of West Michigan. We get lots of people coming out, and I thought, you know, we have potential to do something really cool for the community here. Taking donations for the group as people walk through the trail. It's not just for my artistic expression, it's just, you know, it's doing something for the community. Needless to say, it's a pretty popular spot on Halloween night. We'll get anywhere to up to 1,500 trick-or-treaters. Requiring lots of candy. I will fill a shopping cart and then I'll panic and go back and buy more. But the more people who visit, I get the warm fuzzies that people get at Christmas at Halloween. The more who experience the curse of Storybook Hollow. I kind of like people to feel like they just have been somewhere magical. But the happily ever after ending to this story are the animals that benefit from this fundraiser. Make sure to stop by their donation box when you come visit. In Comstock Park, Elena Holland, 13 on your side.